Hey guys, it's from BMO here, and uh, I'm going to be making another tutorial on how to make the automatic minecart starter, because I know a couple of you guys were having troubles, and uh, I'll also show you a couple cool things you can do to it, make it more effective. Anyway, so the first thing I changed was instead of a lever, I put a pressure plate, so you just push the cart onto it, and then whenever you... um. Whenever you sit on it, it activates. Okay. Well, uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this one. So let's start over here. The first thing you're going to want to do is build a 4x2x1 by by hole. So two across, four long, and one deep. And then on the left side of that hole, build track going all the way across and up one. And do the opposite for the right side. Except you saw those two pieces connected. So when that happens, just break this one and this one. Uh, put that one down and then this one. So you end up like this. Then go to the far end at the left side break this rail and put any block you have there. Now you're going to want to place a block right on top of the the front right slanted piece of track. Just uh, go and place a block on it and it will appear on top. Then just take your rails and make a circle with the last piece being on the block. So once you have this just go out make uh, go two down like this, and then go th add three uh, vertically, or horizontally, sorry, and then just connect it to the far, uh, f to this piece. Then once you have that, you can just break whatever block you put here with the rail on it, and it should look like this. So you have this flat piece here that goes across, slants up into a circle, and basically this just lets you, um, have the cart go up, around, and come back down. Okay, so once you have this, you can start the wiring. Now, you see, as, uh, as soon as I put that redstone, the track switched. And once I put power to the redstone, it switched back. Um, if that happens to you, where as soon as you put a piece of redstone here, the track switches, then you need to make an inverter. Basically, what this will do is uh, reverse the current. So just use any block, place it right here, put a redstone torch on the front face, and it will normally stay like this. And then when power is applied to it, like from a lever, um, it will switch. Except we're not going to be using a lever, we're going to be using a pressure plate. Well, you guys can actually use whatever you want. doesn't really make a difference. Um, so yeah, whatever, so just continue the wiring, uh, you need to put one here, then put a pressure plate right at the curve, directly from here, and whenever you step on the pressure plate, the track switches. So if that happens, you know you're good, you can just start building your track, and uh, that is pretty much it. I just can't have this pig in my my car, that's no good. So once you have it built uh, and the cart is at the far back, just go ahead and put a cart on the slant here. And it should start looping like this. And now whenever you step on the pressure plate, the track should switch and the cart should go around like that. So once you have that, you know you're good. and. Uh, to use it, you just have to put your minecart, push it so it's on the uh, the pressure plate, and it won't activate until you sit on it. So I'll just go ahead, sit on it. It activates, gets you going, and that is it. So that is basically it. Then, if you want, you can you know just build around it, make it look prettier.
like I am right now. Definitely looks a lot nicer just having something like this at least. I don't know why I'm fussing with this. There we go. Just glitched. Um, well, yeah. Now, there's something really cool I found on YouTube. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, so, we go like this. Oh, spike of lag. Oh, break this block. I don't know why I'm building with solid diamond blocks. I'm on my uh, my server right now. I just want to build like this. Get two minecart tracks going. Uh, this is actually really, really cool. It uh, gives your minecart infinite amount of speed. It will and uh, infinite amount of momentum. It will never stop or slow down at all. So you'll never need boosters or anything. So basically, it's just something like this. You put a minecart on it, you push, and these blocks help to keep it straight. And then you push another one. If you see they land right on top of each other, it looks like one minecart. But then if you push it and you get on, they will act as boosters to each other and they should just keep going. Now this physics doesn't seem to work well in the servers, but uh, when you're on online, it works perfectly. Like, it's, it's a bit glitchy on the servers, but, uh, sorry, not online. And, uh, not online, it works perfectly. And the minecarts stay together perfectly. Let's just try it again, see if I can get it. Um, but when you do this, just try to make sure that when you sit on it, you sit on the, uh, the farther back one. Like, the cart that goes to the back. Oh, that one didn't fall. Just push it. Go. Not good. See, even on its own, it breaks, but then it, they keep pushing each other. It's just really glitchy when it's not online. Anyway, that's just something I thought was kind of cool. So um, I hope this helped, and I will. Uh, I'll just show you this one more time. So, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later.